At Urbiki, the crops that we grow and the raw materials that we use are at the heart of everything we do. Once we've turned these crops into spirits, however, we still want to continue with our single estate ethos as far as possible, with an understanding of where everything comes from. So this polytunnel plays a big part in that. It allows us to grow the more exotic botanicals that wouldn't really fare that well in our Scottish climate. This year we put in a lot of raised beds made out of old potato boxes that the farm can't use anymore. Uh, and each one we've got different botanicals being grown. So down the far end we've got chilies which we use and we dry these and smoke them and use them in our chili vodka. And then down this end here we've got a lot of some of the more traditional gin botanicals. Uh, we can see here we've got juniper, coriander, angelica, licorice and orris root. As well as the, these classical traditional gin botanicals, in the dar gin we also use lemongrass and macroot lime. So we've got some of the lime trees here next to me. Um, it's the leaves that we use of this plant and they bring an intense citrus along with uh, herbal uh, notes to the spirit. The lemongrass is on my other side, so we grow a lot of this. Um, as the name suggests, it's a member of the grass family that tastes of lemon. It produces these really fat stems, which you might be familiar with for cooking. Um, we cut a portion of the stems and the leaves and we dry them out so we have these available all year round to produce the gin. As you can see we've got lots more botanicals in here that we either currently are using or are experimenting with for future products. Hopefully someday we can have some of you in in person but for now I hope you enjoy the launch of Nadar and the first World Sustainable Spirits Day.